In this video, you'll see how to use the average if function to get an average quantity based on the name of a product. You'll also see how to use wildcards with that text so that different results will appear based on where you put those wildcards. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. On this sheet, I have a small list of orders with the item names and the quantity that were sold. At the top, I've put one of those item names, and I'd like to calculate the average quantity for any orders that were for a pen. And to do that, I'm going to use average if. In cell C2, I'll start with an equal sign, and then average if. First thing it wants is the range, and that's the range that has all my criteria. So I want to check the items. I'll select those cells. I could lock this range with dollar signs by pressing the F4 key. And the next argument is the criteria. So I'll type a comma. The criteria is what I have typed here in cell B2. So I'll click on that. And it doesn't matter if this is uppercase or mixed case, lowercase. It will still find that item in this list. I'll type another comma and then the average range. So where are the numbers that I want to average? I'll select C5 to C13 and press enter. And there's the average for all the pen sales. I have them highlighted here and we could just use the average function and we'd get the same result by selecting those three cells. But with average if, it finds the right items for us and creates the average. Now if I change this to binder, we'll see a different average. And the average quantity for those two sales is 10.5. With the average if function, you can use wildcards with your criteria to make them more flexible. Right now we have pen as the criteria and we'll only get an exact match for that. But I have a drop down list here, and I'm going to choose a wild card, which is an asterisk, which represents any number of characters, and then pen. So now we can see in our list, we're going to get an average of anything that ends with pen. So the average for those items is a quantity of 10. And let's look at the next one, which is the wild card at the end. So now we see things that start with pen and then have anything or nothing after the word pen. So we've got a different average quantity now. And the final one puts an asterisk at the beginning and the end. So with these two wild cards, we're getting anything that contains pen. So it starts with it or it has it at the end or it has it somewhere in the middle. So with the average if function, you can either look for things that are an exact match for some text or use wildcards with your criteria to make them more flexible. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com to get this workbook and please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.